<laughs> Meanwhile, it is that time of the year again. We're talking about cold and flu season. Yes, and since up to one billion Americans are affected each year, it's important to know how to prevent and properly treat both. And here with some tips for the season is a former Bachelor star turned doctor, Travis Stork. <laughs> Good, morning. Good morning. Doctors in. The early. doctors in. So, what's the basic difference between cold and flu? Some people panic. Well, the biggest cold. difference, I always say, neck up symptoms for the cold: congestion, sore throat, runny nose. Flu really affects your entire body. You feel achy, fevers. Um, but also treatment is quite a bit different, and, and I think people never realize that we actually have a vaccine for the flu. We don't have one for the cold yet, um, but it's something to pay attention to because this is the time of year where October, we call it the start of flu season, sure. and uh, it's starting to hit across the country. And there's one thing that you can do simply that a lot of people don't realize, and it's actually something that I do once a day. It, it's a sinus rinse. Yeah, Simply Saline. It's, it's, it's mm -hmm. you know, one of the things, I've had a great partnership with Simply Saline. So I'm trying to, to spread the word that you don't always need to take pills right. for everything. So you use it every day, right? It's At the saline end of the day, nasal wash all the stuff out of your schnoz. You do it yeah. the day. Out of your Congestion, sinus. irritants, pollutants, allergens. And when you're congested from a cold, um, it's an all-natural remedy, and yeah. it works. My son has had sinus infections since he was about one, and he's always had that problem. They always say it freaks him out, though, to shoot water, up, uh, saline up his nose. Well, yeah, you, it's that pool. You just got to get feeling. used to it. You get used to it, and I'll tell you, after you do it, you just feel cleansed. Okay. <laughs> okay. And but, you, but you're not taking a pill. You're not taking. It's really safe, especially for for pregnant mothers, for okay. kids who can't take cough and cold medicines. Um, but the other takeaway is. Colds last, some of them last up to two weeks. Sure. And so the overuse of antibiotics is another mission of mine. You know, if, if you have a cold, it's a virus, antibiotics do not work for it. When do you call a doctor and when do you just write it out? Well, it's individual, but when, if you feel truly under the weather and you can't get out of bed and you're worried, that's when you call the doctor. Okay. But not for, hey, my head's stuffy, I might have a sinus infection, I might have a cold, just write it out, suck it up. If you think you just have a cold and you're otherwise fine, we don't, you don't always need to go see the doctor. Yesterday we had Kenny Rogers on, uh, we sang with him, he said he just got his flu shot at Walgreens. Who all should get a flu shot? You know what? The CDC recommends, and I support this as well, anyone over the age of six months. So that's most of us. And it's particularly important if you are someone who's susceptible to illness, if you are at the extremes of age, really young, pregnant, or if you're really old. These are really life-saving vaccines, and I'm a big believer in the flu vaccine. Getting and there's it a annually. new one with four strains that covers four strains of the flu rather than just three. It's called the quad, but... Only a quarter of the vaccines have this in it. Okay. So my recommendation is if you can only get the old school one, go for it. The sooner the better. Sure. Excellent. All right. Uh, Travis, thank you very much for making a couch call today. <laughs> thanks for having me. Thanks for seeing you on TV. And thanks so much Always for coming by. Always a pleasure. All right. We will not get sick this year. We, we promise. Won't. Let's hope. All right.